Welcome to the blessing of the voice of Jane Lead and or uh, Led. Uh, but I think it was Jane Lead, 1679 Prophecy of Love. And brethren of love, be beloved are we all when we focus upon her words of wisdom. So uh, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, our Prince of Peace thereof, who comes forth on a glorious cloud of the splendor of his own magnificence. 1679 was a good year. <laughs> yep. So uh, let all doubters doubt. Because you know what? It don't matter. Those who want to believe, believe. All the proof in the world is not necessary. But for those that don't want to believe in something, there's no proof of anything that they're, <laughs> they're ever going to listen to. So... Uh, Praise the Lord. He's doing a new thing. I've heard so many boring sermons about the Lord doing a new thing, and now he finally is because the, the sower of seeds has overtaken his reaper exactly as Christ foretold in Amos 9 for the end days. So welcome. Pull up a seat, subscribe, pass on the ammunition of love, for it's time to stir up our love in the name of Isa Yeshua, Jesus. 1679 Prophecy. So let all doubters of this revealed word of love watch the uh, video YouTube's Jane Leeds 1679 Prophecy. And that's what's playing in the background as a uh, giving a uh, reaction to this video. It's 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 amazing, and I'm sure you'll want to watch the whole thing uninterrupted in her own words. There have been some insertions with my words into her words, but one thing is for sure: uh, the recital that I'm going to read primarily is all her. And uh, she foretells a church of John 10, 16, <laughs> one that did not exist back in 1679. She saw the Lord rising in the splendor of his majesty, the majesty of majesties, the roaring lion of Zion, who's roaring out from his Israel, that his kingdom age new covenant has always been eternally for all people and that it was misunderstood because it was always for all mankind and that he is the Lord of all mankind. And this is what Jane Lead prophesied many, many years and many centuries ago. Now it's the blessed time for all flesh to begin their odyssey away from the quicksands of their shores of unbelief as echoes of Jane's very best prophecy of the unbelievable days of Elijah are finally unsealed by Christ's firmest and quietest command. So his people will be able to arise and shine in love as Isaiah long ago foretold in Isaiah 60. Then our spirit of prophecy uh, tr will translate to everyone of loving hearts his promises of Beulah land, the promised land that is just ahead and it shall be like Zion just ahead. The kingdom age has dawned. Intellectually it has begun because the kingdom age prophecy of Jeremiah 31 and 32 has been given to all mankind exactly as it is written and exactly as it does say. And therein lays the most glorious presence of love that's flowing as milk and honey, shining brightly as a million supernovas, all ablaze at the very same time for love and the sender of it, our Prince of Peace, who is now bringing forth the preparation of his peace through this video and all the videos at my station. So let the obedient therefore come to see that this passionate miracle of God's mercy is man's final hope through the words of enlightened love 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love so that whosoever should love should never perish but have everlasting love evermore. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. 1 John 4, 7. And I swing the everlasting gospel because he is the sower of the seeds of love that has overtaken me as his reaper of the harvest. For such a glorious time of love as this, our Lord shall now be giving all of his sons and daughters of love the ears to hear the thundering heavens as he thunders away in the, uh, as the, our majesty of majesties and the splendor of his absolute awesomeness. And his magnificence goes before him, for he is showing himself strong to be the most beneficent and the magnificent and the treasure of excellence and the excellence of treasure for all people of love. So listen then now, O ye stagnant people of love's secluded and hidden faith, it's time to release him, and he roars from out of our own hearts within the whispers of silence that he uh, sings unto each and every one of us as he calls us, calls us all by names as, our, as if we were the only one, for he has never been a respecter of persons. He loves everybody exactly equally. And that line of Zion roars from Jerusalem uh, for his tabernacle of wisdom in the heav heavenlies to now be sent unto earth. And as such splendor and wisdom of the ages is sent unto mankind, it shall appear as a giant sickle all aflame and razor sharp as its cross glistens while radiantly welcoming the Lamb's great white harvest by fire of his love. I am Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, the latter-day Daniel, the father of Chrislam, and Billy Graham is the grandfather of Chrislam. Chrislam is the name in Isaiah 62, 2, that God has given unto Israel after she has received her kingdom age covenant of peace that was written for her and all mankind as Jeremiah 32 27 foretold for the latter days Jeremiah 31 1 and in these latter days if God was not the God of all Israel as it is written he would be a liar people so it's time to really consider strongly the words of one now claiming to be Elijah because I am the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who shall shatter the power of the holy people because the son of love is arising with healing in his wings to destroy all gross darkness of Isaiah 60's end time kingdom age prophecy. And God now is saying to all the world that he wrote in his word in Haggai 2, 2 and in Jeremiah 1, 10 that in the latter days that he would destroy all all the kingdoms of man and all the imaginations of every spiritual imagination that has not been built upon oneness of love. For those who love are of God and know him. They might not know him by any particular name, but they know him. As fish know that they're in water. Take them out of the water, they know that they don't have no future. <laughs> love is what keeps us thriving and alive. And as John the Revelator long ago foresaw in Revelation 10, the temple of God open amidst awe-inspiring lightnings and thunderings as well as voices and the earthquakes and the great hail went before them. And his shiniest, most resplendent glory of charity gloriously shined upon the ark of his last testament of love that goes before him. For his everlasting gospel is the everlasting covenant of Jeremiah 31. And it alone holds the fullness of the time of the Gentiles. So therein let the obedient hear 
the little book of love which our angel of wow lovingly removed from his glory covered ark of his last covenant that's fully laid out as a scroll by YouTube's uh, station watch House of Beloved Shiasa um, and watch her video Apocalypse it is finished uh, for that daughter of love is uh, 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 writes equally as uh, passionately as any of the gospel writers of the Bible have ever written and know now that this flying scroll of Zechariah's vision is the same forever bound word of inspiration which will soon be echoing John's logos word of love one very last time as prophesied unto all races all nations all tribes all tongues all kings that God is unconditional love period so let the wise therefore come to understand that prophecy from Revelation 10 1 through 11 has now been made manifest by our kingdom kings loudest roaring cries and this gospel of love now says by our joyful angel of the Lord and the spirit of prophecy the revelation of Jesus Christ Almighty our beloved Emmanuel who shall be with us again soon he says let every man and woman and child now welcome this little word from the angel standing upon the earth and sea and let them receive it in the mighty name of love Isa Yeshua Jesus for love is the name above all names that all shall bow down unto and by the power of praise that she used as a pillow the Lord came unto Jane of Norfolk in the 1600s as the hallowed spirit of prophecy and that lamb wanted to bring forth validity for Chrislam, the one world religion of the risen lamb of God over all mankind, reasserting his godhood of Jeremiah 32, 27. And in these days, as John 10, 16 foretold, he arises as the son of love for over all the flocks of man and one good shepherd over all and she asks us says praise the Lord <laughs> I'm gonna mention her a lot through my materials because she, uh, other than myself she asks uh, is the very best writer of love that I have ever been uh, privileged to know and the wise shall quickly go to house of beloved uh, the YouTube station and start monitoring her very closely because the, she has attentive ears and she's hearing the voice of love correctly so be obedient beloved because when the lion of Zion roars who can but obey and I'm gonna tell you one one thing for sure these videos that I'm making at my channel are the manifestation of the Word of God from Habakkuk 2 and uh, he said surely it shall come forth it shall not lie behold he whose soul is not upright but the just shall live by his faith yea even though he's been transgressed by wine even though I've been alcoholic all my life people I've heard the voice of love and he has breathed upon me twice and I come forth as the last Elijah and these are going to be days where the 1679 prophecy will explode and these are days that Shiasa will explode her ministry goes before her and has been ordained and qualified and set apart and identified for all of mankind who is wise enough to look and her sister uh, Anna Grace mind forward same thing she is a, a a teacher of love listen to mind forward Anna Grace and her video check that out apocalypse 2020 and the good thing is in 2021 uh, vaccines are out and uh, these days that brings God's word of patience from Revelation 3 it's come forth to bring us a word of patience 
to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. So it's time to change and roll with love and realize that all things have worked together for good. Don't look on the bad side, look on the good side. That as uh, our religion gets uh, shattered by the gross darkness uh, being uh, left behind as the sun of righteousness arises with love, that you know, things shall come to a place where there shall be no more racism people on planet Earth. And the Lord is sending all of mankind an absolute word unequivocally about our unity within him. Here now is the voice of the blessing of the Holy Spirit through Jane Lee. And the Holy Spirit said through that daughter of prophecy, there shall be a total and full redemption by Christ during the end times as the spirit of Elijah flows as a mighty river even in the driest of deserts. Such an amazement shall no longer be a hidden secret in these days of Revelation 10 manifesting so the mystery of God can end as it was written. Nor could anyone get the awesome meaning, meaning of such without revelation from his spirit of the future. But let the wise see that his spirit of tomorrow is finally here today, but not here to stay. And as his breeze of glory blows, his dove of love is now at hand in a vibrant way to reveal such treasure unto everyone who is dedicated as holy seekers and loving inquirers of his overflowing mercy for all. Let therefore all closed ears now open wide as closed minds are now destroyed for the completion of such a marvelous re redemption of souls is no longer veiled because of the open canon of the book of Revelation that was foretold in, in Daniel 12. For his word was only closed until the time of the end and that it says in Daniel 12, 9 to 13. Consequently, the Lord shall have his Holy Ghost to open up every sealed seal so universal redemption may knowingly come forth unto all men as his love is poured out upon all flesh as all of his prophets foretold and foresaw. Rejoice then, all ye people of praise, for as the gradual opening of Christ's mystery now happens and unfolds, those who are tired of being hungry shall finally be able to dine upon the unsearchable wisdom of he who is the prudent one and worthy of absolutely all exaltation. And such worthy seekers shall continually find that they have fresh things revealed unto them as they wisely hear of the Lord's love by the light of his dove and by the light of Shiasa and Anna Grace that's now coming unto them from out of Emmanuel's ark of the testimony of his most incredible wonder to behold. Within a moment of a moment, those tuning in to House of Beloved and Mind Forward, as well as the Daniel Owsley station, shall all be revealing themselves openly as children of love who will cast down all their imaginations and all their condemnations of all other people around them regardless of what they believe or do not believe. Believing has never been part of anything. Our belief is as filthy rags to be discarded. Only his love alone has transcended all imagination as God now destroys all kingdoms of mankind. Everything built by man's hands instead of the hands of love who goes before us. And neither shall any listener of wanting hearts ever be found wanting for new inspired insights as they listen to these uh, two witnesses of the kingdom age as his millennial uh, kingdom age comes forth through Shiasa and Anna Grace. 
For through them and through me, the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, through me as Elijah, now shall all the hidden secrets of the ages finally be exposed and unsealed before the end of the age of grace as our good shepherd commanded. So hear well the voice of Shiasa because uh, the spirit is flowing mightily through her. Do not ignore Anna Grace either. And as the first prophet Daniel foresaw, now is the season, the long-awaited season for the great refreshing of the great restoration of God's word by his own word, self-interpreting itself as it was foretold in Acts 3.21, because until this happened, Jesus Christ Almighty, uh, Isa Yeshua, Jesus has been kept in reserve in the heavenlies and has not even been able to return until this restoration kicks in, that his love has transcended all imaginations. These are the days of love and the days of peace and the days when the knowledge comes that the latter-day peace of Isaiah 2 shall be our true future and that we shall dust our feet off from the future of the Armageddon and the future of the lawless one revealed who shall never ascend. Morgan uh, Knight of Morg Official, the one who is a sword swallower of Revelation 13, who would die by a sword and be resurrected to become the Antichrist. And neither shall Dr. Auer, O-W-O-U-R, of repair and, and, uh, repent and prepare the way, the one who's calling down fire in front of multitudes. That guy, he's an interesting guy. I love him. But uh, yeah, the two witnesses jumped into him, and now he's the two witnesses. <laughs> Boy, that's pretty good math. Two plus one equals three, last I heard. But, uh, but as the first prophet foresaw, now is the time of love for everyone wanting to shine with the blazing reflection of our rising sun of love who's now destroying all darkness. So meditate with Shiasa and hear my forward and hear my videos and pass the ammunition for these are the days of the vision of Habakkuk. And as it is written in uh, Habakkuk 2.2, 2, that uh, let, let it be written plainly upon the tablets whose eyes readeth it may run, that their eyes may run through it. That means, people, since I'm reading the words of these books foretold for these end days, that we should let our ears run through the materials that I am uh, identifying, thus saith the Spirit of Love. These are the days of our majesty of majesties. And uh, a work of prophecy herein has begun that is so great, so rich, and so immense that all those letting their ears and eyes run through these materials will receive a most precious word of love so that they may inherit and realize they've already inherited. They just don't know that they have so that they can, uh, with full knowledge, inherit and possess the treasured things that Christ has given them. So hear now the word of Shias and Anne Grace and Daniel. For they are my two chosen uh, two witnesses. <laughs> and not the same two witnesses that would come back at the end. Now, that's a whole different story that will not even unfold unless the future of Armageddon unfolds two different futures in the Bible. Now a call of love goes forth unto all the quarters of the earth from our spirit of love, the spirit of prophecy. And he says, the days of Elijah now shall begin bringing forth God's visitation in love to all mankind. And since the wind of God is bringing forth a whirlwind of change, Heaven's whitest clouds of hope are now bring, breaking for a storm. And his spirit of love now says this unto all people of hope. Arise and shine for man's carpenter of the ages. 
Uh, all ye who are his faithful few above, arise. Let your light shine. But let such friends of his charity additionally know that he's now roaring from Jerusalem, the line of Zion. He's roaring his loudest warnings for those who will not cease from their just rash judgment about his word and about this word will be bringing injury unto their very own souls as they embrace ignorance who is the the uh, defeated devil of evil Beelzebub and he is defeated because he can never again be the the accuser of the brethren and for that reason and for the reason that God has given the kingdom age covenant that he forgives all iniquity and will remember it no more. Satan has been sit, sent to the pit for 1,000 years according to the word of God so that mankind can have a merciful brand new start to a kingdom age where all men can become brothers and get live and love together and that no man needs to be taught about God beyond this anymore according to his kingdom age word of Jeremiah 31 verse 35. For he says, and now no one needs to be taught of him anymore for the least to the greatest shall all know him. All you gotta do is look up to know that there is a God who created all of this people. Come on, this earth also by the way was made with very great age. And uh, this world is millions and billions of years old, and it's under 6,000 years, too. That's why you can Google uh, T-Rex blood cells and see Google images of the, the cells still in the veins of the dinosaur veins. <laughs> How old is that? Come on, people. There's explanations for all this. And uh, the, the sons of God saw the daughter, daughters of men were good. The Nephilim came, the giants in those days, but it happened to all creation. And our fossil account fully agrees with this. 2,000 pound everything, sloths and armadillos and birds, 2,000 pound this and 2,000 pound worms. My God, the truth is out there and I'm bringing it to you. And so is Shiasa and so is Anna Grace. So listen to these two Bible teachers. I cannot and will not emphasize that enough to all of love. Nor is there anything more prejudicial and harmful to Christ's incoming love and light of peace than man's most evil suspicions. They gotta stop, get off the bus. It's time to reverse. There's, there's no reason to be looking at uh, people as false prophets all the time anymore. It's a sick, sick world. And until this spiritual racism is gone, we have a lot to learn, people. So the evil suspicions have to stop because they've been raised from the darkest mists, mists of ignorance and worldly wisdom that could ever sense the deeper, that could never sense the deeper things of the Holy Spirit, as uh, Jane Lead did. And so shall it be that the divine presence of the Ark of Emmanuel's testimony of love will multiply all grace, all peace and joy unto any living stones desiring to be placed upon the foundational cornerstone of him who was, is, and is yet to come again as man's Messiah, our carpenter of the ages, Emmanuel, who shall be our God with us again. And even though the glory of the Lord's Ark of his latter-day covenant can now be found unsealed within uh, the words of this video and through my elec little electronic books, and they've made it small enough to fit into an email, too. If anyone wants transcripts, let them uh, email me. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, the fullness of Christ's bul bulging gospel of love is humongous and far bigger than life itself and it's coming forth through the word of Shiasa and through Anna Grace and through me and through the, the mouths of anyone who has come to the place where they realize that God's love has transcended all of our imaginations. And by the Lord's most marvelous word of unconditional love 
that desire of donations will now be making his own word of benevolence to bring forth the life of his end time virgin church of Chrislam. And what it, and that's Isaiah 62 2. That's God's name for Israel after they received their kingdom age covenant that was promised exactly as it was foretold in Jeremiah 31 verse 1. And that would come forth Chrislam. And whatever his body of believers of love are, there also must his testimony of love be from his inspired faith of necessity. The necessity of love because it is love that keeps us alive. For his ark of love now brings forth man's survival by straightening out an understanding of his love. So let the wise therefore receive the Lamb's living record since that morning star of stars has finally arisen to lower his ascension ladder down to his obedient so they may receive his spirit's baptism of glorification. Then shall his elective love stop resisting his word of manifested prophecy through this messenger of Jeremiah, Daniel of Windsor, Ontario from the north of Isaiah 41, the north accurately prophesied. So they can finally open up the everlasting doors of their minds and take in all of love's amazement. Such souls of obedience shall be led out of themselves so their love may prosper as they never could have imagined. Love from love, people, and it's just beginning. <laughs>